Hi, fourth and fifth graders. It's Mrs. Farrell, the math coach at Emerson and Madison. Um, for today and tomorrow, we're going to do an estimistry for you guys. Um, so we will show you the items that we want you to estimate today. Go ahead and make your estimate today. We'll give you the first two clues, and then you'll think about it. Um, and then we'll come back on Wednesday this week with the next three clues and the reveal. So uh, our estimistry today is called Three Gobs of Globes. Okay, so here we have our image that we're taking a look at. What I'd like you to do is figure out how many globes you think there are in all. So what is the total amount of globes? These are little globe keychains in three different glasses. Go ahead and pause, give yourself time to think, and then come back. Got my Ninja Warrior guy over here today. <laughs> Ninja Warrior headband on. Maybe some of you guys like Ninja Warrior as well. Oh yeah, he's got his whole, <laughs> whole get up on. Okay, so once you have your estimate, go ahead and keep it in your mind and we'll take a look at the clues. First of all, Patrick and Jack are not fourth and fifth grade, but they are third in kindergarten. They might wanna just make an estimate real quick on how many globes you think there are? I don't make, no. Okay. Ninety-six. All right, Patrick says ninety-six. No, or seventy-six. That's a big difference. Which one are you gonna go with? Eighty-six. <laughs> right in the middle. Okay, so he's gonna go with eighty-six. Okay, let's take a look at our first couple of clues. So, the number in the glass on the left. So this small glass over here includes the digit six, but it is not a square number. Okay, so, and it'll be interesting to see if you guys thought of this as you looked at the whole picture of globes and made a guess, or did you really look at each of the glasses and try and decide how many were in each of those and then add them together? Did you just look at all of them and try to make a guess mm -hmm. without looking glass by glass? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I think that one's like um, 26 or something. All right. So Patrick thinks there's about 26. Because it can't be 16 because it's a square number. All right. 16 is a square number, right? 4 times 4 is 16. 36 is also a square number. So it's 6 times 6 is 36. Number. So, okay. So you're thinking maybe 26 in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. For clue 2... The center container has more than twice as many, but less than three times as many as the container on the left. All right, so let's think about that. Again, you can pause, make sure that your number still works. So Patrick's going on his guess that there are 26 in this glass over here. There's more than twice as many in this glass. I think there's 56 in there. 56, okay. Why 56? Um, because 26 times 2 is 52. 52, okay, good. And then I'm just like going in the middle, so 56. Okay. So it has more, so the center container has more than twice as many less than three times as many. Yeah, because that's exactly the middle, because four, two plus four is six, and then six plus four is, is um, 56 plus four. Okay, so you're saying, so you, you know times two, 26 times two got you to 52. It's less than three times as many. So what would three times as many be? So that's what you're saying? Um, that would be... 26 times 2 is 52, and then add another 26 to that. 68. 78. 78. 78. Oh, so I think it has to be between 52 and 78. 66. All right, you're going 66 just in these two. Yep. Now your original estimate was 86. 86. So that would mean how many are in here? 20. Do you think that would work if there's you said... Wait, no, I think there's like 
58 in there. There's 58 here and 26 here. Hmm. You're going to need more than 58 over here. So you way surpassed your estimate of 86 then. Right. What's your estimate? 100 something. So Jack's thinking there's more like over 100 globes oh, there are, here. I think there's 96 actually. Okay, but again, if you're already at 56 plus 26, what's 56 plus 26? 56 plus 26, okay. So, 82. yeah, because 56 plus 30 would be 86, minus 4 is 82. So that's already 82 between here, and you know that this has to have more than 56. Mm-hmm. So that would, you would need probably to up your estimate a little bit, right? 116. 116. Okay. I'm thinking you have to go even higher because if it's 50, you're already at 86. Okay, 136. And I'm just going to round up. So let's say there's 90 between these two. This has to have more than that 56. 136. Maybe 136. Okay. All right. So we're going to stop there for today, and we'll come back tomorrow and have um, the last three clues and the reveal. So think about where your estimate's at, and we'll see you tomorrow.